I'm Mrs. Flores in attendance. And I'm Claudia Martinez, Assistant Principal Secretary. And you're watching Hawk Talk. Say yes to birthday parties. Say yes to apple pie. Say yes to cotton candy cards beneath the big blue sky. Say yes to friends and family and the love that they all care. But when it comes to drugs, there's only one thing you should say. Just say no. No. Just say no. Just say no. No. Just say no. Tell me what's your choice. Let me hear your voice. Just say no. No. Just say no. Good morning, El Dorado. Today is Thursday, October 24th, 2012. I'm Rod Lomelli. And I'm Megan Longnecker, and you're watching Hawk Talk. Megan, do you still read the school newspaper? Uh, we have a newspaper? Yep, it's your fix for updates on what's going on around school. The totally tubular El Gavilan newspaper comes out tomorrow. Read it. Great paper, you guys. I'll be sure to pick up a copy. Another thing for all you writers out there, head on over to the Creative Writing Club meeting today at lunch in room 202. Every month, a special senior is honored by being Senior of the Month. Here's your 2013 September Senior of the Month. If I could describe Isaac in one word, I would say caring because Isaac, Isaac's one of those kids that really wants to make a difference and wants to help out and he, he truly cares about people and making a difference. Isaac's a leader on the offensive line. Uh, he serves as, as ASB president and uh, he's always around. I see Isaac uh, during the week, late at night, on the weekend. I think his dedication and commitment to El Dorado High School uh, speaks for itself. Isaac deserves to be Senior of the Month because he, he really cares about El Dorado and the students that go here. I mean, he he's, goes out and does literally everything he can to improve the school and do whatever he feels necessary that'll help others and help himself at the same time. Congratulations, Isaac, for being September Senior of the Month. Congratulations, Isaac. You really deserve this honor. Do you like laser tag and mini golf? Then be sure to come to the CSF meeting this Friday at Camelot. Go see Ms. Craze for more information. In other news, let's check in with Josh and see how our sports teams have been doing. Girls Volleyball defeated Esperanza yesterday, 3-0. They'll be playing Brea Olinda on Tuesday. Last Friday, football lost a tough one against Foothill, 42-14. Corey Wildhagen passed 21 yards, and Drew Winter rushed 52. They'll be playing Brea on the first. Boys Water Polo lost to St. John Bosco, 12-6. They'll be playing Whittier Christian today after school. This past weekend, the boys and girls varsity cross country competed in the Cajun High Invitation. Eric Stormer ran a 15:47, Jonathan Sheets ran a 16:25, and Jeremy Bebo ran a 16:45. The girls were led by Chandler Smith, who ran an 18:48, J.C. Unger who ran an 18:52, and Sarah Hansen who ran a 19:05. This is the third year that the girls cross country team has qualified for CIF. Great job to all our CIF qualifiers! Be sure not to miss out on the first comedy sports match of the year this Thursday in the theater. Watch the teachers battle the students in annual hilarious events. The cost is $5 at the door. This week, El Dorado has truly shown its awareness in the fight against the use of drugs. Here's a PSA to remind us all of the effects that they have. We won't be in high school forever. There won't always be someone to show us what to do. We are making decisions on our own now, some right and some wrong. But what you don't know is that the earlier you start using drugs, the more likely you are to become dependent on them. Also. 
Alcohol-related car crashes are the leading cause of death for teens and young adults. In minutes, you might end up making a decision that could affect the rest of your life. This doesn't have to happen because it's your life, your decision, and your chance to take a stand for what makes you, you. Not letting others define you. This is why I choose to live above the influence. What about you? Be sure to go to the first chess club meeting today at lunch in room 303. All skills are welcome. Also, a very special happy birthday to our campus supervisor, Alan. Thank you for all that you do for our school. And now, here are the rest of your extra announcements. Latino Leadership Club. There is a meeting today at lunch in room 402. Red Cross Club. Your first meeting is today at lunch. Come and find out about our first volunteer opportunity in the theater. Hip Hop Club. There is practice tomorrow after school from 245 to 415. Meet in room 705. Community service hours are available on Saturday, October 27th, helping with El Dorado's Holiday Boutique. If interested, please see Lupe in the girls' locker room. Fiesta Days is back and will be held on November 10th at Main Street in Yerba Linda. There are many opportunities to get involved entering the talent show, joining the 5K run walk, and volunteering opportunities for community service hours. Go to www.ylfiestadays.org for more information or see the flyers posted in counseling. If you're a senior and you're planning to attend San Diego Canyon College, then you won't want to miss out on their upcoming family night. Families will have the opportunity to learn about everything SCC has to offer, as well as meet professors and counselors. This event will take place at SCC on November 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. If interested, you must RSVP by November 7th and come by counseling to pick up more details. College representatives. There will be a representative from the following colleges on campus on the following dates. If you would like to attend their presentation, you must sign up in the counseling office to receive your pass. Be sure to get your pass when you sign up. Well, this looks like the end of the October 24th episode of Hawk Talk. I'm Megan Longnecker. And I'm Rod Lamelli. Have a great rest of your Red Ribbon Week, Hawks.